Bay. Fly away. Bay needs to evacuate. Can you chance to escape here, Mr. Bay? moron I have tried to evacuate the bee that seems to be hovering all over this camera this morning but it won't go anywhere so if you do hear buzzing then I do apologize and um, but hello everybody good morning and happy Sunday welcome back to my channel in today's video I will be filming a what I eat in a day video I have only done one of these before and it was quite popular and a lot of people did seem to enjoy it so I thought while we were in quarantine or lockdown whatever you want to call it and whilst we have nothing else to do but eat a crap ton of food i thought that this would be quite a perfect video to film during this time before we do get into this video i do have a food shop haul to show you i have been food shopping with dad and i have picked up my essential food which i eat every single week so i thought what better way to show you what I eat in a week than a food shopping haul. So this will be the first portion of this. That bee needs to get away. Because it's annoying me and I know it's going to be annoying you lot as well. So the first portion of this video is going to be a food shop haul and what I normally tend to buy every week um, with regards to what I do like to eat. We do go shopping at Asda because one, the queue is always less at Asda. So I thought that I would just do a pan of the food that I've brought then I will show you them individually. So this is everything that I normally buy myself in the food shop. It doesn't look like there is a lot here but this does tend to last me. I mean I have got two of these so I have got multiple things of everything. Ginger tea biscuit, not ginger tea biscuits Ellie, it's gingerbread green tea. What an absolute idiot. But I do love gingerbread green tea. These were featured in my first What I Eat In A Day video. So we all know that these are my holy grail green teas. Especially for if you are feeling bloated or sick. Then these are a really good thing to have. The second thing which I picked up were the Balvita Soft Bakes Breakfast Chocolate and Hazelnut Flavoured Bars. I absolutely love these and these are normally what I have for my morning snack. Why am I so dark? Why do I keep having this problem? So these are normally what I have for my morning snack. So after breakfast if I'm feeling a bit peckish I will have one of these with a yoghurt. Um, however it is currently half ten and I haven't eaten or, drink or drank anything yet. So it will probably be a brunch type of thing with probably no morning snack. Um, but this is just the reality of this video. It is half ten, I have not eaten or drank and I am absolutely starving. I then brought myself my new favourite milk which is something that has definitely changed since my first What I Eat In A Day video. I have moved on to oat milk. However, I have brought the wrong one. I don't normally, because I think this is, this says semi. So I'm not sure what it means by semi. I normally have the normal oat milk. But I just thought that this one was the same, but obviously not. But I can still drink this. So I do love to have this in my cup of tea now. And I do also have this in my iced coffee, which you will soon see me make during this video. And another thing that I have been obsessed with that I have actually already started to drink um, is tropical juice. I know that this is very high in sugar, but... I absolutely love tropical juice, especially with your breakfast. This is an amazing drink. It's really refreshing and super cold. Um, and I also love putting that in my Malibu. So all of you alcohol drinkers out there, this in Malibu is absolutely gorgeous. 
if you can hear any sawing going on i do apologize my mum's currently in the garden making something and um, but the next thing that i brought was salami I brought two packs of salami because me and Kai go through this quite quickly. And then I brought some ham and mature British British cheddar slices. These normally all go together in one sandwich. Um, but I do love to put them on a pita bread. And when I put the cheese in there as well, I normally pan fry it. And it makes the pita bread go really nice and crispy and it melts the cheese. It's absolutely amazing. Definitely not that healthy for you. But I don't think anybody is eating anything healthy during quarantine. So we'll leave that one there. Um, but another lunch that I do like to have is the Uncle Ben's Mexican Rice. And I normally mix in with that some prawns. So, of course, these are also from Asda. But normally I get the ones from Tesco's which have already got seasoning on them. I do love the chilli and garlic ones. But these ones are just plain. So, I will probably put my own seasoning on that. Um, but this is just a super quick and easy lunch. So if you're absolutely starving and cannot be bothered to really make anything, then this would be a perfect thing for you to make. And it's definitely not unhealthy. It's quite a healthy lunch for you to have. I then picked up one of these. I don't really know why. I just sort of threw it in the trolley. So this is probably what I will be having for my lunch today. And this is the barbecue chicken salad. Um, this was £1.50. And in here you get barbecue, barbecue chicken, um, cavetelli, if I'm saying that right, probably not, pasta, carrots, sweet corn and red, red peppers with a dressing and iceberg lettuce with mayonnaise. So this is probably what I will be having for lunch today. I never ever have anything like this. I did buy this for work um, but with my Crohn's disease I have received a letter to say that I need to self isolate for 12 weeks. Um, and I did only find that out on Thursday of this week so I will really I won't be going into work I won't be going out so I'll basically be confined to the house for 12 weeks which is absolutely great but it does mean that I can focus on my YouTube so I did buy this to take to work with me but I will have this for lunch today just so I don't waste it if I am making my own lunch then I will have a pita bread with all of the lovely things in there or I will have one of these with some prawns. I then brought two dinner options. The one that me and Kai have absolutely been loving at the moment is the Blue Dragon Ramen, Ramen Noodle Kit. So it is a kit and you do get the noodles and then a sachet to put in the ramen. I did buy two of these but obviously I am only showing you one. And in here you literally just add the chicken and all the other ingredients that you'd want to add. It does have the seasoning here as well. This is absolutely amazing. This tastes gorgeous. I'm um, not really a big Japanese food fan but Kai absolutely loves Japanese food and he is trying to get me into eating it and um, so I did buy two of these and I absolutely love them they're really quick and easy all you have to do is boil the noodles and add the sauces and anything that you want to add into your ramen this is £2.55 so a little bit expensive just for this um, but it does make a really lovely flavorful meal so i would recommend getting these then i have brought some chorizo and some soft cheese i do make my own pasta sauce out of this so i chop all of the chorizo up and put it into a pan with some oil and then i will add a tiny bit of water and add this whole tub of cream cheese so it's definitely not a healthy meal whatsoever but it tastes absolutely amazing and you just put that with the pasta so those are some of the main things that i've picked up to have for lunches and dinner throughout the week I did also pick up some cool tortilla chips because me and Kai love to melt cheese on them in the oven, which again is really, really unhealthy, but it's a really nice snack. It tastes absolutely unreal. 
So those are just some of the things that I've picked up for me and Kai for throughout the week. We are having a barbecue for dinner this evening, which you will see. Um, so I think we should definitely just get straight into the what I eat in a day because one, I'm really thirsty and two, I could definitely do with some breakfast right about now. Looking at the time, it's now 10.38. So a drink. And breakfast is definitely on the cards at this moment in time okay so for breakfast this morning I will be having some eggy bread I will show you how I make this but obviously I think everybody probably knows how to make eggy bread It is the most simple breakfast that you can do so depending on how many slices of bread you want I normally have two slices of eggy bread which means I will need two eggs as well as two pieces of bread of course you can have any bread and any sort of eggs that you'd like you don't have to have the ones that I'm using but these are just what I could get and what I prefer I do have white bread because I cannot eat brown bread brown bread wholemeal things don't digest properly in my stomach and the food doesn't break down or bypass really easily this is such a yummy breakfast and it really does fill you up um eggy bread is really really filling and then probably after i have finished all of that i will make an iced coffee but i will show you how i make that just a little bit later on so for now we will move on to making our breakfast so the, I am leaning down because it's quite awkward to try and balance you and talk at the same time. But the first thing that you will need to do is crack your two eggs into like a dish. I normally use like a lid style dish like this. I don't know where we got this from. But I find that this is perfect to be able to drop your bread into and turn it so it's covered in egg to then put in the pan. But I will show you of course how I do that. Okay, so once you have mixed your eggs, you will just need to get a larger pan. Um, this is quite difficult with one hand, so just give me one second. Let me just get the pan out. So once you have gotten your pan, it does need to be quite a big pan so you can fit your bread in there. But all you will need to do is get some oil. This is such an unhealthy breakfast, but it does taste really good. So you need to get some oil and then just coat that into the frying pan. Like so. You do need quite a large amount. I know that is really bad, but I'm really not bothered. I think everyone is eating what they want in quarantine and not caring about it. And then all you will literally need to do is get your piece of bread, dip it into the egg mixture and making sure that you definitely coat the bread in egg so all of the bread is covered. And you will then just need to pop it in the pan until either side is quite a golden brown colour. And that is how you make eggy bread. Now that I have put the eggy bread in there, I do normally leave it on a high setting. So I'll put it on like number seven or on a higher level of gas. And I'll just probably leave it for two to three minutes to cook on either side. I've just filmed a whole section of this video and I wasn't even recording, which is very highly annoying. But as I was saying before I realised that I wasn't filming, I have to have all of my drinks out of this wine glass. There's just something about drinking out of a wine glass which is really satisfying to myself. I have to have my tropical juice out of a wine glass, literally everything.
why is it the one day that I'm going to film my what I eat in a day, everything goes very wrong? Honestly, please have a look at my eggy bread and what has happened. I've got no idea what I've done. But look at this. What the hell is all this about? I never have this problem and I don't know why it is stuck to the pan. I have not had this problem before. So this is definitely turning into a realistic what I eat in a day video because that right there is just a shambles and I cannot even believe it. And if I'm being very honest with you all, I cannot make, I cannot be bothered to waste another two eggs, to waste another two pieces of bread to try and make that again. So we're going to scrap the eggy bread. That is what I normally have for breakfast and you have seen how to make it so that is a good thing but you will not see me eating it because I refuse to make another one of those. I will show you how I make my iced coffee instead. And that can be my breakfast which will fill me up for this morning. I am going to be making an iced coffee but it will be the whipped iced coffee which everybody has seen all over TikTok but I can assure you that it tastes absolutely unreal and I have been quite addicted and have been making myself one every single morning for the past one and a half two weeks and um, so I will show you how I make that now considering my breakfast was an absolute fail so for the iced coffee all you will need is coffee obviously you can use any coffee that you like this is just the one that we have in the house at the moment so this is the one that i'm going to be using and you will also need sugar as well as your chosen milk and i will be having the oat milk so they're literally the only three ingredients that you will need to make this iced coffee. Um, you will also need some ice in case you want it really cold, which I would recommend because it tastes amazing if it's really, really cold. And I would recommend a hand whisk or a handheld whisk, electric whisk, whatever it's called. I would recommend having one of those if not you will have to hand whisk which i have tried and it is a massive struggle and i have given up after about two minutes because you have to whisk until the coffee is frothy and really whipped so i would recommend a handheld whisk or an electric whisk if you have one you will need two teaspoons of coffee two teaspoons of sugar and then oh you will also need i can't even get anything out but you will need two teaspoons of boiling water as well and then of course you will just need your chosen milk and some ice i do normally add all of the ingredients into a bowl because it is definitely easier when you are trying to mix the coffee together and make it whipped if you can hear the bowl I do apologise. I'm just currently trying to wash up the pan after I destroyed it with my eggy bread. Okay, so what I normally do is take a bowl because as I said, it's easier when you are trying to whip up your coffee and you will need two tablespoons. So normally about that size, don't know whether you can see that. And then you will also need the same amount in sugar as well. Which I know is very bad for you, but after my eggy bread incident, I really don't think I'm that bothered at the moment about healthy and unhealthy food options. You will then need two teaspoons of boiling hot water. So I am just going to boil the kettle and when that's done you literally just need to add the two teaspoons of water into this mixture then mix it all together until the coffee is whipped. start 
to whip the coffee i am just going to add some ice and milk into my cup you do add the coffee afterwards then mix it together i am just using my little thermal costa cup i absolutely love this and it secretly makes me think that i'm having a cheeky costa even though i'm really not because it's not open and um, so this is my milk that i'm going to use this milk literally just tastes of normal dairy milk it's absolutely crazy it is definitely a lot creamier so you don't need as much as dairy milk but i do love 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 using this in my cup of teas and also in my iced coffees this really doesn't upset my stomach and it's a great alternative to dairy as i said it literally tastes exactly the same and i can't even tell a difference i've spoken to so many people and quite a few of my friends have also switched to oat milk because it literally tastes exactly the same mix that all together and that is how I get my iced coffee whilst trying to believe that I'm actually having a Costa coffee honestly it tastes so good please try this out if you haven't already i know i cannot go without food because i will become very grumpy so for my alternative breakfast today i will have a bavita soft bakes which you've seen in the food shop and my iced coffee so that is what i will be having this morning so i am going to have the barbecue chicken salad for my lunch today as i mentioned i don't normally have these for lunch this is the first time that i've brought one of these but because this was meant to be for work and I don't want to waste it, I will have that for my lunch today. I am also going to be putting in the oven for Kai these breaded popcorn chicken. That Dad gets these from the butchers and they literally taste like the KFC popcorn chicken. They're to die for and absolutely amazing. So I am going to put some of these in the oven for Kai for his lunch. But I may also put some on the side for me to have with my um chicken salad because why not i didn't have a proper breakfast and i am getting absolutely starving so this would be my lunch for today not a regular occurrence but this is being realistic Please excuse my appearance. I've literally just been sat in the garden sweating my ass off reading my book. I am trying to get a tan and I definitely look very burnt on camera, which is not good. So maybe I do need to apply some sun cream. Um, but I have just made our lunch. I'm absolutely starving. It is now 20 past one because we did need half an hour for the chicken to cook. 
So mine and Kai's meals look very different. I've done him a fake KFC. And I have my barbecue chicken pasta salad. And I have gave myself a few of the popcorn chicken. I think in this video, why am I so blurring? I think in this video, you are going to see that I eat a lot of beige food. All I eat is carbs. I don't really eat anything moderately healthy. I don't eat fruit or veg or anything like that. And plus with my Crohn's, if I do eat healthy foods, it can cause me to have a flare up or an upset stomach. So I do tend to stick to really plain, carby foods, starch, all of the good stuff. I am going to now go and sit in the garden and enjoy this food because I am absolutely starving, as I have already said. I think my file of a breakfast really took a turn today and has made me absolutely hungry for a lot of food. So I am going to tuck into this lunch and very much enjoy it. If I do have an afternoon snack before dinner, then I will let you know. From me again i feel like all you're seeing is me coming in when i'm about to eat or do something which i need to tell you about and um, it is now half three in the afternoon and half three on a friday means that it's time for alcohol i was actually saying to mum last night that i still have so much alcohol left from my 21st birthday last July. Um, I have so much champagne, so much wine and rosé, but because I'm more of a spirit girl, I haven't really been drinking it. Like I'd prefer a Malibu or a Di Serrano to a Prosecco or something like that. But I have told myself that I do need to start drinking it, otherwise it will go to waste and be out of date. So I am going to slowly work my way through the alcohol that I have and I will actually show you how much I have left over from my 21st birthday which I still haven't drank. So we are in the cupboard. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These three are little ones, but I've got ten bottles of Prosecco, Rosé, wine to get through. So when Dad did go shopping this morning, I did tell him to pick me up some lemonade because I can't really drink any of that without lemonade. So I am going to pour myself a glass and I'm going to spend the afternoon in the garden, drinking some alcohol and attempting to finish my book. I do only have a tiny little bit left, so I do want to finish it today because I would love to move on to this one. I have heard so many people talking and raving about this book over on Instagram and YouTube, so I do really, really want to start getting into this one and reading this one. But I do need to finish the one that I'm currently reading, which I have nearly done. So I'm hoping that if I have a little glass of alcohol, it may encourage me to finish the last few pages of my book. My thought process to getting rid of all this alcohol would be to have the smaller bottles first and then move on to the bigger ones. So I'm going to have this little bottle of Prosecco with some lemonade. Good afternoon everybody, it is now 5 o'clock and I'm not going to lie to you all, I am on my second or third glass of Prosecco with lemonade. Looking in the viewfinder I'm definitely very very red and when I told you earlier on I would put sun cream on that was a lie because I haven't. 
so please don't take a leaf out of my book and make sure that you are applying sun cream if you are sitting out in the garden as you can hear the dogs will not shut up and um, but it is now around five o'clock i think i have already said that but if not i've also been bit on my finger i'm not swearing at you i'm just showing you that i've been bit we are currently about to do the barbecue and i just wanted to show you what we have to cook on the barbecue before we get into it and um, because i'll probably just do a time lapse after this so dad and kai went to the butchers earlier on today and we have got quite a few things to cook on the barbecue and i am very excited because i'm becoming a bit hungry so the first thing that they picked up was of course burger buns because we're going to need those as well as hot dog buns i'm going to assume that we have hot dogs even though i don't have any here to show you but dad picked up these massive massive beef burgers from the butchers and these were 5.99 for eight they are absolutely massive and i cannot wait to devour that on a burger with melted cheese because that will be absolutely amazing and then we have this large chicken breast with garlic butter this was £4.89 and it's just a little small chicken breast I think we will be cooking that in the oven and then finishing that off in the barbecue so that will taste absolutely amazing to add to the mix in the barbecue I'm so excited because we have boneless chicken breast tandoori kebabs which were £6.99 for all of these and then we have some boneless chicken breast kebabs which i assume are plain we also brought extra slices of cheese to go with the burgers to melt on top and then i'm assuming this is kai's purchase because none of us really have this it's burger relish which i've never had before but i will probably like so that is everything that we will be cooking on the barbecue this evening and um, of course we will have our sausages as well for hot dogs so i am very looking forward to this barbecue it's such a lovely afternoon it's absolutely boiling with lockdown in a process it's become very real that i am absolutely craving a mcdonald's all i can think about is a mcdonald's all i want to eat is a double cheeseburger and a five chicken select meal that is all i can think about so hopefully if i create my own double cheeseburger with the barbecue, it may relieve my cravings just a tad. hello again and i will be saying that for the final time we have just had our barbecue and i've just put my dressing gown on because it is absolutely freezing it is still very sunny outside but the temperature has definitely dropped and i have 100 percent caught the sun on my chest and um, but i am absolutely stuffed i think i made up for not eating a lot earlier because i over ate i definitely do smell of barbecue smoke which is not a good look and i have washed my hair this morning so i'm probably gonna have to wash it again this evening um but i do just want to end this video here i haven't started editing this yet so i don't know how long it's going to be i presume it may possibly be quite long so i am just going to end this video here I am probably just going to put my pyjamas on now, take my makeup off and chill with a nice cup of tea. 
that will be the nicest end to a really good day it's been such a chilled day i haven't actually finished my book yet but i do intend to finish it tomorrow morning and start my other one then so i am just going to end this video here and i am going to chill out in bed with a cup of tea and watch some youtube videos just to wind down i really do hope that you have enjoyed this video of course this isn't like a normal what i eat in a day because i don't normally have a barbecue every evening and I don't normally buy myself a pasta salad for every lunch time. But in a few weeks time I could possibly do another one. And give you an insight into what I normally eat for lunch and dinners every evening if you are interested. I know a lot of people do like to watch these what I eat in a day videos. So I definitely can film more for you. I also need to learn to try and get myself in shot better. I always find myself cutting off half my head and it's so annoying. But before I ramble anymore, I am going to end this video here. As I probably have tried to do about 10 times by now. So thank you for watching this video everybody. I really do hope you have enjoyed. And thank you if you have stuck around to the end i really do appreciate it if there is any food related videos or crohn's disease related videos that you would like to see on my channel then please let me know down below i am uploading a crohn's disease q a which will be my next video so if you are interested in my stomach condition and if there are any questions that you would like to ask me to answer in that video then please leave them down below and I will answer them in the next video. So thank you for watching everybody. I really hope that you have enjoyed. Hopefully I will see you in my next video.